In this video, I will be showing the process for creating a stylized fantasy steampunk tire. The main goal here will be to create a low poly model and add details through sculpting in ZBrush. Alright, let's get to it. The first thing I did was to create the main shape for the tire keeping it at a reasonable resolution so that it looks round enough, but without going too overboard with the geometry. Then I created the wheel by using some primitive objects. It's usually a lot easier to create complex shapes when you use different objects and then merge them together. In this case, I made the wheel from separate objects and then welded them together to end up with one solid mesh for the whole wheel. After I was done with the low poly model, I proceeded to create the UVs. In this case, this was done by simply applying a planar map to the whole thing, adding a few cuts, and later I used the unfold tool and the straighten tool to also keep things fairly straight. I packed everything together utilizing as much UV space as possible. Some of the pieces of the model will use the same UV space. For such pieces I offset them by one in the UV quadrant. This is something I like to do since sometimes things will not bake correctly in Substance Painter unless you do this. This is however not always the case. After the low poly I duplicated the group and created the high poly mainly by adding bevels and smoothing the parts as well. For the tire, I created a thread piece and duplicated that along the entire cylindrical shape. Before exporting, I made sure to name all the individual objects of the high poly with the suffix underscore high and for the low poly with the underscore low suffix. I exported both the low poly and the high poly and imported the high poly into ZBrush where I proceeded to divide and dynamesh the parts in order to give them more geometry to work with. Here in ZBrush, I had a lot of fun using the damp standard brush to add some of the details to the pieces. For this particular sculpt, I used mainly the damp standard brush, the trim dynamic, as well as masking and inflating. Sculpting is the part where you can have the most fun as you can add all sorts of details to your model and bake those details onto the low poly back in Substance Painter. I exported all the parts and in Substance Painter I used the standard bake settings to bake all the needed maps. Here I also used the 3DX stylized Smart Material 2.0 as the base material for my textures. You can find this material in the video description. I made a few duplicate layers of the material in order to change the colors and settings for the different parts of the model. One important thing about texturing is that you want to make sure that everything does not look like it blends together too much visually. This is because I want to make sure to vary the different surfaces on the model so different parts of it read differently, especially at a distance. I also added an emissive layer to make some parts glow a bit. This is a fantasy tire, so there is a lot of freedom in terms of what the materials are. Here is the final render which was done in Marmoset 2 back. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, 
so I know to continue to make videos in which I explain the process. Also, if you're looking for step-by-step -step tutorials, please see the links in the video description. Okay everyone, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.